Hi, it's me, Ran, and it's day 10 of our value video series. And today I'm going to go back to yesterday's slides, show you how I made it. This is applicable to Mac users, so I'm sorry, PC users, but you could follow along and see how easy it is to do slides. I'm sure there's comparable programs like this for PC users. First of all, it's called Keynote, and if you don't have it in your docs, assuming that you already have it downloaded into your computer, you just click on this magnifying glass and you type in the first few letters of anything that you're looking for and it shows up. So you click on it and then it ends up on your dock and it opens up automatically. So this is what it would look like if I did a new one. I would just pick any background that I want. Let's do something different. Let's go ahead and pick that one. That's pretty. And it's the same thing. You know, it tells you what to do to start it. They're assuming that you want to use this as your title page. You can go ahead and change it to whatever else you want. But let's say we're going to use this one. My title page. Oh, I even like the font. And then you would write your opening statement. There you go. And then all it is, you add a slide. Do I want a picture with the writing underneath, a picture with writing on the side, a bigger picture and then two small ones or one main one, um, blank, completely blank. It's sweet because it's already set up for you. I'm going to go ahead and click on this because I don't want that picture. I want my own. Let's say I pick this one and I like the way it looks but if I didn't make it smaller move it around if I want it here right and then I could go to any of these sections and change these things so that I have borders different kind of borders look that's cool it's like kind of rustic it's like paper that's been you know kind of ripped I can replace it with a different image now that's going to be images that you have saved on your computer and I can arrange it you can constrain the proportion so you have it exactly the way you want or you can put it to original size see and then from there I can oops I grabbed the wrong Thing. Make sure you yep, click on the picture so that it resizes that. And then here I am, moved it, bam. And then you double click to write title. Same thing down here for content goes here. Boom, so now if we play it, you see how pretty it is? And then all you do is push your space bar, goes to the next page. Pretty cool, right? So also another thing is I have an Apple TV and I came with this remote. I believe you can buy this remote separately and if you are let's say doing a conference or you are showing this slide to a few people you can have your computer at the end of the table or something and then you can click on this to move the slide forward so that's it keeping it really short today and just to show you how uh, this looked yesterday just like you saw it played just play it and then I'm pushing the space bar as I'm talking and moving along and I you see how I entered the pictures it looks crystal clear it's awesome I keep it real simple I don't do any anything fancy with my pages but I think I'm gonna start doing this with a lot of my videos because it helps with seeing visual um, items with what subject that I'm talking about I hope that's helped I'm sorry PC users but um, this is pretty basic I think that there's programs like this for PCs out there if you just Google it and it's probably an app you can download into your computer for free or you can find something very similar to this for free. All right, have a blessed day and I will talk to you tomorrow.